Okay. So I am Gabriela Barado. I am 12 years old and my grade is seventh grade B. And my favorite mob in Minecraft is the blade because because he's in fire and it's cool. Thank you very much. And what about you? Somebody else? Hello. My name is Santiago Farias. I'm 13 years old. Dije bien. No. And what is your favorite mob? My favorite mob is a Creeper. Okay, it's very thank cool. You. And what about you? Um, my name is Emiliana and my last name is Barker. I am 13 years old. Um, well, what is your favorite mob? Ah, it's the. What is it? Skeleton. Skeleton. Okay. Because it's, it's a skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Lisa. Uh, Andreas, Andreas, come here. Come over here. Oh. Andreas. Andreas is a veteran of uh, Minecraft. So, Andreas, tell us about you and your favorite mods. Uh, I am Andreas Beger. Uh, uh, I am. I am. I am uh, 17 years old. I am in Vlogger. Yeah. Uh, my favorite mod in Minecraft is the creator because I use the, to use this mod for obsidian uh, farms in my Minecraft world. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Thank you, Mr. Andreas. Thank you, thank you very much. The last one was Andreas. He was how how old? Seventeen. Andreas, how old are you? Uh, Seventeen years. Seventeen years old. Seventeen. Fantastic. We have a few students here who can share a little bit about themselves. Can I ask the students from Ateneo now to share, introduce themselves, their nickname, last name, age and grade, and what is their favorite? Minecraft mob and why it is their favorite. Jesu, would you be so kind as to start? So hello, I am Jesu Manzano. I am currently grade 10. I am 15. My favorite Minecraft mob would be slime because, I don't know, it's just something that I used to, I'm very fond of ever since I was a kid. So yeah, I pass it to yeah. Buwan now, Anton Bukawa. Thank you. Can you turn uh, on the cameras, please? Turn on your cameras, please. Yeah. Anton as well, please. Yeah. Like, thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, do I do I start my do I start now? Okay. Hello, my name is Anton Bugawan. I am 15 years old and I am currently grade 10. My favorite mob would be the Elder Guardian because it is mysterious. Thank you. I think they approve of your choice, Anton. Can we have another one, please? Anton, who would you pass it to? Jundi? Um, I would like to pass it to Nathan Brilio. Um, Nathan first. Good day. My name is Nathan Brilio. I am 15 years old and I'm currently in grade 10. My favorite Minecraft mob is the Creeper because I'm fascinated how it can blow all of your blow up all of your hard work. Okay. Thank you very much, Nathan. Nathan, can you turn on your camera, please, for us? So we can see you. Sir, my camera's, uh, I don't have a camera right now. Oh no, Creeper must have blown it up. Let's pass it to someone else. Um, Who can go next? Gavin, would you like to share? Uh, my name is Gavin Mariari. I'm 13 years old. I'm currently grade seven, and I would say that my favorite mob is Iron Golem. I just 
think of them as chill guys. They mind their own business. And I also like how, like, if you threaten them, they just suddenly become all powerful. Thank you, Gavin. Who's next? How about Junbi? Thank you, Gavin. Who's next? How about Junbi? So, uh, good evening from the Philippines. I am Junbi, and my last name is Layawen. I am 15 years old right now, and my grade is also grade 10. So, uh, my favorite Minecraft mob is probably the Creeper because Sorry, Jundi, could you say that again? I I'm, I I think I did not catch that. I'm sorry. It must be my connection. Could you say that again, please? Sorry, Jundi, could you say that again? I I'm, I I think I did not catch that. I'm sorry. It must be my connection. Could you say that again, please? Uh, okay. So, uh, my nickname is Junbi. My last name is Layawen. I am 15 years old and I'm currently in grade 10 also. So my favorite Yeah, I think it's uh, the sound not coming, Joel. So maybe we can Yeah, I think continue, we did no? say, Junbi did say something about the creeper. Uh, you can also type it, Junbi, in the chat box so that we can uh, recognize your answer also. But let's move on. I think we have Dylan, our last student who is present here. Before we call on, thank you, Jesu and Dylan, for turning on your cameras. Before we talk about some of, we have a few guests here, Mr. Subang and Miss Antonia. But let's go first with Dylan. Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Dylan. Uh, my last name is Lim. I am 12 years old and I am grade seven. Uh, I would say that my favorite uh, Minecraft mob is the villager because <laughs> okay I think our friends in Santiago Chile understand that <laughs> whatever but we then they know the sound they know the sound of the villager yes yes we do know that okay all right Mr. Subang you are joining us he is one of our um experts in Minecraft. Mr. Subang, would you like to share your favorite mob? Um, hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes, can we hear can. you. Just checking. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just using my mobile phone. Sorry, my, my voice is a little hoarse today because I had a long day of discussions. Anyways, hey, again, so hi, I'm Mr. Subang. Again, as mentioned by Mr. Joel Fali, again, I'm one of the um, Minecraft expert, if you might call in the faculty. So, um, I'm a grade nine science teacher. I don't want to say my age, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, my favorite mob is any of the bears because you have three bears: either the panda, the white bear, or the brown bear. Just choose because I'm really into bears. <laughs> so there. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you, Sir Lavi. And we have uh, also joining us, Mrs. Antonio. Belated happy you. birthday. Oh, thank you. Um, oh. Hi, hi, students from San Ignacio, uh, Santiago de Chile. It's a good day to everyone. So I'm Mrs. Antonio. Okay. I'm a novice okay, in Minecraft. So I guess my favorite mob would be the elder guardian because i guess i'm the eldest among this 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 group okay i just turned 54 and i'm the assistant principal for academics of our school so welcome and it's nice to see the interaction that we have gave okay, between our students from ateneo and students from san ignacio uh, santiago de chile 
Thank you very much, Mrs. Antonio. I'd like to read what uh, Junbi shared. It's in the chat box. It says, last name Junbi, last name is Layawan. He is 15 years old. He is in grade 10, and his favorite Minecraft mob would be the Creeper because it adds a challenge to his survival worlds. May I ask, can, how many from Santiago, Chile, how many play on survival mode? How many play Minecraft on survival? Which do you prefer, survival or creative? I prefer survival. 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 Okay, survival. <laughs> No. And you? It's a little bug. What do you prefer? I prefer to rival, but I die a lot. <laughs> but you die a lot, okay. You don't play handsome. What about you? What do you prefer? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I prefer survival because it's uh, good. It's, no, no, yes. no. What about you? It's, it's better the creative. Uh, the creative. Thing. Yeah, because I built a uh, houses. Uh, oh, you love that building. That's right. Well, well you? Be... Oh, oh, sorry. More. Go on. I prefer survival because it's an adventure to. It's build. It's an adventure to play, survive, complete. Oh. It's my easy. That's it. Thank you. It's my easy. What about you? What do you prefer? Dogs. I love dogs. Yeah. What do you prefer? Dogs. Dogs. Only dogs. Only dogs. Okay. All right. Well, Junvi, I remember it says here it's a challenge for your survival worlds when he's trying to build. It's also the face of Minecraft. And he apologizes for the microphone problems. But thank you. So, so many of you prefer survival. I think one or two preferred creative mode. How about among our students? Which would you prefer? Survival or creative? Yes, Dylan. Honestly, even if uh, creative is the place where I can get to like freely, uh, you know, actually build using my imagination, I like survival because, uh, you know, you, you you get the 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 only worst part about survival in my opinion is the fact that if you want to get good gear you have to deal with all the <laughs> okay Dylan thank you let's go with Junbi go Junbi uh just to confirm can my microphone be heard this time yes we can hear you very well thank you thank you so uh actually prefer survival because uh, I also build a lot in survival and it has this kind of challenge. Like instead of, for example, you want to build something tall, you can't just uh, fly up and then start placing blocks everywhere. You have to build, for example, a dirt tower or something and try to get up there to build. And it also adds the challenge of the other mobs trying to kill you. That is why it's called survival. <laughs> okay, let's go with Gavin. Sir, like Dylan and John Bebo, I still prefer survival, mainly because if I finish building something, I feel more proud because I actually had to collect the materials. No matter how many times I die, I will still be happy after finishing a build. Okay, okay. I'm just curious now, how many times have you died, Gavin, in survival mode? Sir, I think it's too many to count na po while building because I- Too many to count. You have died too many times to count. Okay. Anyone else um, would like to share? Jesu, Nathan, or Anton? Well, personally, I prefer creative since um, not just in Minecraft, but in, but also in other games. I really prefer building, um, designing, since I'm into architecture a lot. Oh, okay. Thank you. And next one. Um, for Nathan? me personally, oh, sorry, go. For me personally, I would go for creative because I build a lot in Minecraft and I build in a large scale, so I would need a lot of blocks. So, getting my blocks from creative will be a huge help. 
Okay. Last one. Who was it, Nathan, who has not shared yet? Well, I find survival. It's quite fun and challenging that you actually have to gather all of your stuff instead of having it uh, all given to you for free. I quite like creative because uh, it's a lot easier to deal with. And, you know, you can build so much more. You can build a, a whole, you can build a lot more with creative. Okay, thank you. So at this point, I'd like to ask, you see, we want to be able to build together at some point. But before we can build together, there are a few things we need to know. So for example, we need to know uh, the kind of Minecraft um, edition you're working on, uh, what device you use it on. And so we thought that we could work together um, in small groups. So maybe um, our friends from Santiago, Chile, you could work in pairs or you could work together as a small group. Same with our students here in Ateneo to create a Minecraft pixel art. Okay, so you would create an artwork using the different blocks and then you pull back from the screen. It's, as you fly up, you will see the artwork. Okay, now to be able to do that, We'll, you will then take a screenshot of that and attach it to this Padlet. Along the way, I think if we click on the, oops, no, not that Padlet. <laughs> if you click on the Padlet, what will happen is, I'll share the link later, you will also see that there are some questions. And these questions have to do with um, the edition of Minecraft you're using, the device that you use it on, as well as, um, what is it now? What is the other question? Let me share that screen. I'm sorry, I will go to the other screen. Mm -hmm. And what do you want to share about your Minecraft pixel art? What does it say about your country and or your school? So we'll share the link here in the chat box, but I'll also send it to Senor Chamorro so that he can share it with all of you later on. And I'll also share it in our group chat with our students in Ateneo. But here is the link for the pixel art padlet. And the idea is that we will get a chance to put it together here in the padlet. And that will give us a chance to see, to get to know you better to get to know your school and your country. And also for us to know what Minecraft edition we're using. That will help us later on because we want to be able to build on the same server or to build on the same edition, okay? But for now, this is a task I'd like for us to be able to talk about maybe amongst ourselves, what would be some ideas. Um, for our students from the Ateneo, maybe you can just type in the chat box amongst yourselves what you might want to build uh, as your Minecraft pixel art to represent your country and or your school. In Santiago, Chile, if you could talk amongst yourselves, we'll spend the last five minutes working on this one. What would be, what, would, what do you think you would like to build as your Minecraft pixel art? Okay, so we'll give you five minutes to talk about it amongst yourselves. Okay, Mr. Falco, we are going to think and read what you have shared with us. Thank you. Thank you. For the students here in Ateneo, you can type in the chat box just so we can coordinate with one another as to what kind of pixel art we could try to build and share in our Padlet.
So in the chat box, we have some suggestions from the group in Ateneo. Maybe the logo of our school or one of our famous churches, the Jesu. We also have a suggestion about a team who will do one of our Filipino flowers, the Gumamela or the Sampagita. I hope we can work in pairs so that we can create a pixel art which we can share in the Padlet later on, okay? Yes, Junbi, that's a good idea using the blue and white palette because that is our school's colors, blue and white. Okay. So we have some suggestions here. <laughs> Gavin, <laughs> Dylan's asking if he can work with you. Okay. I think, Senor David, we will have about three groups in Chile or four groups, four pairs to work together to create the pixel art. I think I have three pairs. Come again, Mr. Falhi, what was the question? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we're working by pairs. So how many pairs do you think uh, will you have in Chile? Maybe three pairs? So far, with the people here, the guys say that we can have three, three pairs. Maybe three? Yeah. Maybe three. See, see. Okay. <laughs> Would they like to share some of their ideas already? What are they planning to build? For the ones in Ateneo, who will be working together? Is that Gavin and Dylan? Jesu, who will you work with? Is it Nathan? Ah, Anton. Okay, Anton and Jesu. Nathan, will you be working with... Who will you work with? Junvi? Yes, is that all right? I think that's all right. So Junvi and Nathan, okay. You might want to think about what you'd like to build using a blue-white palette maybe. That was the suggestion of Junvi. So we have some ideas here on the chat box. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Dylan and Gavin. You can make the Ateneo logo. That will be a good chance for our friends in Chile to learn more about our school. You can share about that. They don't have the computer uh, with them, so they don't actually. Because uh, the, the, the specific question were made by you, Joel, was which version would they, or which, can you repeat again that stuff? Because uh, yes, what they, version of Minecraft do you I use? Know. I think uh, some of our students have different versions. Yeah. So, which version do you play, guys? Ah, no, yeah, in English. I'm going to have to turn to Sir Lavi Subang. Sir Lavi. So what? Yes, sir, sorry. I'm still um, here. I'm still I think here. They're sharing the version. They're sharing the I version think that, that they're using. Yeah. That 1.20.1 1 is um, 
are you using Java edition or Mike? Because the current uh, Minecraft education is still at 1.19 or 1.18. Are you using Java edition? <laughs> yes, yes, Sir Lavi. They're using the Java edition. Yeah. Okay. So maybe <laughs> later when we try to build, we might have to make use of the Java server. Yeah. Okay, that's what we are. We'll have to talk to Sir Jason about that then. Yeah, I think we might ask the help from our game breakers, like the members of Game Breakers and their server, for us to be able to play together. Let's use the server of Game Breakers. Okay. All right. Oh, it's on the mobile. Do you see that one, Lavi? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Okay. That's if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that's uh been, um mobile edition. But we'll see. Because uh Jason unfortunately is not here right now, so he um he can't help us answer the question, but he's more knowledgeable regarding servers. Okay. So we'll be wrapping up, but as we promised, we want to be able to play with you. So we are doing the Padlet as an asynchronous activity. And then our next steps will be to coordinate when we can play together. And it looks like we'll be using uh, the Java server. Okay. So may I just ask, uh, this time it was evening here in the Philippines and morning in Santiago, Chile. The next time, we'll see if we can have a different schedule and we'll try to find the best schedule that we can play with one another. I understand you're going on your summer vacation. Is that right? Yes, we are. I mean, the guys are starting their summer vacation next week. So, guys, will you be more flexible in the time to connect with the guys from Philippines? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Just like okay you. at night time. Of course. Uh, what about night time in Chile? Nine o'clock. Nine ten. Okay. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. I can't. Out for me. The one of the. You no, just no. have to forgive us because uh, they are English. I mean, they they can do a lot in English, but this is very specific, and they don't know how to communicate what you are talking about the specific specific stuff uh, about technology. Yeah. See, I understand. So, it's also a challenge for me. And <laughs> it's in English. <laughs> even for okay. me, because I'm listening just to you because I have no idea of many of the things you are saying. <laughs> okay. But uh, that's why we have our technical assistance here with La Sir Lavi. But okay. Um, so we'll be wrapping up. But before we end, uh, we will definitely send an email again to your teacher, Senor David Chamorro. Muchas gracias, David. What we will do is we will uh, make sure to send the server links later on. But we hope that we can have the Padlet filled up so that we also have more details about the about the edition, the version they're using, and we can share our Padlet, our pixel art. Okay. Uh, somebody from here wants to know if you play soccer. Yes. Oh, do we play soccer? Yeah. Can you please have a raise of hands? How many of us play soccer? Jason, is, if Jason were here, he would be so happy to talk to you about soccer and football. Who among yeah, because they were wondering. Here? They were wondering if you play soccer there. Do we play soccer here? Yes, we do, right? How many of us play? Jundi? Gavin? I personally don't play soccer much, but I know a lot of people from my class who really, really love soccer. We play much football. <laughs> we play much soccer. In my house and in the street. And in the corner. And in the streets as well. In most lugares. I play games. I play games. I play. I play play. 
Okay. Sarap, pero... Um, I think more popular. I don't know. Is it more? Is basketball more popular here in the Philippines? What do you think? Okay. Others agree. Okay. See, si, baloncesto, baloncesto, yes. basketball. Si, popular ba football in the Philippines? Football. Uh, yes, football. Football. Oh, it's it's. Ah no, I dream. <laughs> Okay. So, thank you very much. To wrap things up, um, if it's all right, I'd like to ask uh, Senor Felipe um, if he could share a little bit because we are actually here together because of Educate Magis. And maybe he can tell us a little bit more because we are not just Coleo San Ignacio and Ateneo. We're actually part of many schools under Educate Magis. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, David. And thank you to all the, uh, the educators and ambassadors of the Minecraft program, let's say, education learning program. Um, no, it's great that, to see all of you, especially coming from different regions of the world. Uh, of course, we are going to play together, to learn together. But the important thing, I suppose, is to understand that we are a community, no? a community of educators, a community of uh, students. Um, and that is our first priority, no? Um, learning by doing, but as well learning as a community, no? Uh, as we talked the other day as well, just with uh, Joel, uh, well, it's more sometimes that we don't know too much about the technology, especially the older generation. No? I have as well sometimes problems to understand the logic or like David as he was suggesting. But uh, don't worry, the idea is first to come together or to learn together as a community. No? And that is as well one of the ideas, the principles behind um, the concept of um, bringing community as Educate Magis. Educate Magis is the international, the global Jesuit community of Jesuit schools around the world. And yeah, what is what we are trying to 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 build bridges between regions, between countries, and so that we all can have uh, this uh, first international intercultural experience. And sure, there are differences, but as we can see through a game, the most play game in in the world, Minecraft. I mean, um, yeah, we can come together. Uh, it's not necessarily now about diversity, but coming together because we have as well, we share a lot of similarities, no? and that is great. But anyway, we are here just to support you, to help you from the technical point of view, let's say. But at the end here, all the energy, the motivation, the creativity comes from our students, and of course, from our educators in Chile and in the Philippines. Uh, thank you. I don't know if you have questions for, for, for me or some comments. I would appreciate it. If anyone has a question for Felipe, either from the Ateneo, from the Philippines or from Chile, you can ask now. If not, we will wrap up in a bit. No, no questions? No, okay, yeah, we can continue. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Joel. Go ahead, Gracias. please. Sí, sí. Gracias. Um, we'll turn to David. If you'd have to, if you have any last words you'd like to share, David, before we go. Well, once again, I would like to thank you, Joel, and the teachers in the Philippines and your students, because you have always been really committed to all the, I mean, creating activities and also supporting people in the other side of the world. So thank you very much. We are finishing school year, and this has given to us an opportunity and learning I'm still very i mean i would like to know what is going to happen uh, with yeah. this these guys for sure are going to be together with you they're doing their summer vacation in the minecraft city as long as they have they have some internet connection in their uh, summer retreats and uh, thank you very much for your teachers and your students thank gracias you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. I understand gracias you start todos. school again in March. Yes? See? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. So we hope to continue to play with you and meet with you all the way from February, January, February until March, until you come back to school. So we will play with you while you're on vacation and we'll play with you as you return to school. And then we will start our vacation around March or April. So it's and a different we're going to country. the padlet uh, for you. I will send the, as soon as we finish the meeting, we're going to send the padlet for... Yeah, uh, hopefully by the end, uh, by next week, we can have the padlet and we can see what our, our friends are sharing. See? Next week? Gracias. Gracias. Okay. And Athenians, next week, we can work on the Padlet, yes? Okay, fantastic. So, it's time for us to go. So, it is getting later in the evening here in the Philippines. <laughs> it is now oh, almost 10 p.m. <laughs> it's 9.52 p.m. in the evening here in the Philippines. And I understand it is uh, 10.52 in in the morning in Santiago, Chile. No, yeah. See, so thank you and muchas gracias. Um, let's say goodbye to. Oh, maybe we can have a photo together. You can wave. Everyone waving with their hands, and we can take a picture, a couple of yeah, picture yeah. pics. Yeah, uh, Let me stop sharing first. I will have to ask for help from Felipe. I am not very good at taking these kinds of photos. Don't worry, I can do that. Please, if you all can wave with a hand, say okay, hello. Okay, Nathan, turn on your camera, please. Wait, wait, just a second. <laughs> one more, one last. Try, and we can have two. The best smile ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. Is done. Thank you so much to all of you. And see you soon. We keep in touch. Have a nice evening, a night. Have a still a good afternoon in Chile. Good afternoon in Chile. Gracias. 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 Adios. Gracias. Adios. Bye. Gracias. Bye. Adios. Bye. Adios. Bye. Thanks you for the opportunity. Thank you. And thank you, Anthony. Oh, they're dancing already. Thank you very much. All right. Bye bye. Take care. Night closer. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you, Jundi. Thank you, Sir Lavi. Mamma, thank you also. Nathan, thank you. Bye, so Mr. Faggy. Take care. Take bye, care. thank you. Thank you, Mr. Faggy. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care, David. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. Have a good night. <laughs> Have yes. a good night, Pa. Thank you. I'm so sorry it took a little longer than we wanted. We had some Please. technical difficulties at start with the connection. It's okay. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, I should stop the recording. Uh.